Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. The Marvel Legends team once again took to their YouTube's Hasbro Pulse channels to talk about all their brand new What If Disney Plus Marvel Legends wave. Yeah, all those characters that are all over the poster. We got some interesting looking figures a coming. A couple that I'm very, very stoked about, in fact. But of course, Ryan, Dwight, and Dan. Hold on a second. That's not Ryan. That's a variant if I look closely right there. Welcome back, Ryan. <laughs> they quickly went over the Loki figures, right? That they already kind of showed off. The Sylvie figure. She will be a part of this new Marvel Legends What If Wave. So they're kind of blending. So basically think of it as Disney Plus Wave 2. So they got their own little skews and barcodes and everything now for the old Disney Plus. But continuing on, we're getting a brand new T'Challa Star-Lord. He's going to be in that animated style. In fact, all of these are going to be more in that animated style. So think more into the Spider-Verse on these. These are very cool looking. I like the styling. It's very vibrant. It's like they turn the saturation up way up on all of these, but I dig it. I like these more artistic type of figures when it matches the animation. Big fan of that. So T'Challa will come with his two elemental blasters. Comes with an alternate head Helmet, very much Star-Lord, Black Panther put together. So it's very cool. They got the photo reel deco, largely pinless on all of these. Just keep in mind. I guess they said some of them are going to reuse parts here and there. But yeah, largely pinless and it looks good. So yeah, moving on. We have the new Heist Nebula or just Nebula and then parentheses you can say Heist. But yeah, she's part of the What If Wave Again, turn that blue all the way up. Give her a Marilyn Monroe wig right there. Nice blonde hair. Who knows what this is about? Looks interesting. I'm very much looking forward to the what if. I like that whole alternate reality, alternate universe type stuff. Next up is Captain Carter. Captain Carter gets the super soldier formula apparently or whatever the story is going to be and fights for the British instead of Captain America. But it looks like Steve Rogers is in the Hydra Stopper or something like that. I don't know. As of this video, I haven't seen much of anything. I just saw the trailer. So, Pinless, she is a larger type figure. Just FYI, because she's supposed to have the Super Soldier formula and all that. Double jointed elbows, double jointed knees. Comes with her shield. She looks pretty good. Dwight even showed a photo, so you can see the scaling. Yeah, she's going to tower over, let's say, Nebula from this wave. Moving on to the Sanctum Centaurum, we got the brand new... Doctor Strange, or he's now called Doctor Strange Supreme. He's got a big old soft PVC cape, very flexible. They said, comes with a power effect. This is a very cool looking Doctor Strange. Again, I don't know the whole situation with this guy. Yeah, he kind of looks to reuse maybe some parts. I think this is the one with the pins still in the knees. I think they're reusing that old Doctor Strange body from a thousand waves ago. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, I mean, he still looks good. I like the art style on this, and I like the way the head came out. So, very, very cool on that. And then we're getting into the real cool stuff for me. We have the, no joke, Zombie Hunter Spider-Man. And if you notice, the red pin is now gone, right? We're not having that red on blue pin action anymore. So, completely, completely pinless on this guy. It looks very flush, very fluid. Comes with a big old zombie hunting... Maybe Doctor Strange cape or whatever he's wearing. I don't know. But I want to see more. I want to see Marvel Zombies. Please do Marvel Zombies. You did Marvel Zombies. My God. I am stoked on this Captain America Marvel Zombie. No joke. This is amazing. So yeah, in the What If series, there's going to be a universe that you get to see all of that. Now, it's not the Robert Kirkman sort of... Awful, creepy, horrendous, but so amazing Marvel Zombies. This is probably going to be a little bit more Disney Plus, I'm sure. But you look at him, a, you know, he's got holes all the way through him. He's got bones and blood and everything else. So they really went to town on this. This is the one I want. Get out of my way. I'm running for this. I want this so bad for the zombie collection. And then, of course, once it's a zombie, you've eaten your full. You get the whole new Build-A-Figure, which is Watu the Watcher. And this guy, he's a very tall figure as well. Now, you know, oh, man, he looks a little different. Yeah, this is more the MCU what-if 
universe. He's more streamlined. He's not the full like comic book type proportions, but he does have the head on him. And again, he's a big tall figure. You can see him up against Sylvie. Dwight always saving us with the comparisons. <laughs> Very exciting. This wave will go live for pre-order starting tomorrow. So there's no pre-order today as of probably watching this video today, but tomorrow I'll have all the links in the description. You can pre-order what you want. They'll be available everywhere. Probably somewhere around fall towards the end of this year, you can uh, get these maybe even sooner. You know, what if premieres in August? So maybe around September, October, something like that. That's not the only what if figure, right? You can't just have one. We gotta have a deluxe figure as well as the build a figure wave we got the massive hydra stomper that's the thing that i guess steve rogers pilots whatever i don't know but very cool very large figure he's got jet packs on the back and blast effects and all that good stuff so yeah you can see him up against ryan actually did the whole comparisons this time you can see him up against the hulk buster so again very large large figure pre-orders tomorrow look for them yada yada whenever the new what if figures start to hit so that's very cool then they briefly went over the galactus they kind of told you hey back this do this again if you want to back it you got a couple weeks still left to go if you can't back it don't worry if you can't back it don't give people the whole run around for being able to back it just everybody just have fun calm down it's not a big deal this is all toy nonsense anyways but they did not show off anything new nothing in terms of stretch goals or anything like that so just hey you know what it's available hasbro pulse yada yada then they went on to say that they got a brand new cosmic figure coming for us for the walgreens and eb games exclusive this is the binary figure. It's gonna come with blast effects and extra hands fire effects all that kind of stuff so very cosmic looking figure they did give an update on previously unreleased here in the states Walgreens exclusives like Nova and Quasar. Nova is still slated for somewhere within this whole summertime, so hopefully any day now, summer, August, something like that. Quasar should see a release sometime in the fall, so we'll hopefully that answers some people's questions regarding that. Now, this is not a spoiler. Just telling you right off the bat, that's what they said in the whole video. Not a spoiler, has nothing to do with the new Spider Man movie. It is strictly Spider Man Homecoming. This will be a Target exclusive redone version of the Spider-Man Homecoming Vulture Build-A-Figure. Build-A-Figure wings, I should say. The figure was part of the wave. But you can get the whole figure. They have added a ton of stuff. So you got a new helmet. You got the Exo Armor sleeves. You got the new hand controllers like in the movie. You got new legs, new thighs, new knees, new shins. All redesigned to have that exoskeleton look on them. Target exclusive. Pre-orders not right now and he will be available as a target exclusive again coming this fall to store shelves so homecoming vulture right there on the packaging 100 percent new figure right here this is the marvel retro toy biz ish superheroes tigra classic west coast avengers you know you can do that put her on those different teams She'll be a fan channel exclusive come later this year. Pre-orders will go up tomorrow as well. So I'll have links for her. And when I say like fan channel, I mean like stores like Entertainment Earth, those types of things. Not Amazon, Target, Walmart. Those are out on this one. They did a couple Q&As with some people, well-known people, high peoples from the YouTubes. I see you's on there. Very cool. They went over a new army builder, which will be the like... Hand Ninja, usually they're red. This is like the Black Hand Ninja, which is like the undead Hand Ninja. He'll have pale, sickly skin, commas, extra hands, sword, red eyes. So these will be available on Hasbro Pulse if you want to army build the heck out of them. And I know a lot of people definitely love to do that. And then that pretty much wrapped it up for the new Marvel Legends news. So thank you again to Dan, Dwight, and Ryan for that info and everybody that asked questions. That was very cool to see you all. They did mention as the final spoiler, they mentioned fear, doubt, or hate. It may have something to do with the contest of champions. I don't know. You can let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree. And let me know as well. What do you guys think about all the new Marvel Legends reveals today? What are you getting? What are you passing on? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Marvel Legends. And again, pre-orders and all that kind of stuff. Depending on when you see this video, they'll go up tomorrow. I'll have them in the description Yada yada. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, a lot of great stuff out there. 
Use your money well. Save your money well. It's all toy nonsense. Don't go crazy. Spend within your means and collect within what you'll actually enjoy. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.